Okay guys, a bit cooler today and we're at a new garden that I'm, I'll show you that I'm, I've been um, gardening here for a while. And it's a nice one, there's different things going on. Um, mainly, um, if you see just behind me, we've got a fruit tree wrapped in um, netting and, and there's three others in the back so I'm going to call this possibly the squirrel defence garden but uh, I'll flip you around and uh, check it out. So I'm just grabbing the blower because there's a, a fair amount of debris and I'm back on the Makita by the way. Um, it's mostly up and running, I just need to put a an o-ring in one of the parts but anyway that's <laughs> so, another boring story. So here's the fruit tree wrapped in netting so every year they've um, they've tried wrap, wrapping this netting on um, never been successful in defending from the squirrels so we'll have to show you if we're, if we're successful this year um, let me know what you think if it will work we're just going round into the back um, and I'll just show you a bit of a before and after I'm not sure if we'll get you much on a, a tripod or not uh, so here it's a, a terraced garden with two levels and um, lots of roses. There's the there's a plum tree that we've netted. See the plums in there? So it's working so far, but they've never been successful before. And all these roses, um, they're from a famous rose producer in the UK. You'll know it. Um, I'll have to ask them. Forget. And then here we are at the top terrace, but you can see there's a huge tree canopy to the side. And in leaf season, this garden gets covered and uh, it's very difficult to clear up because of the terraced and intricate nature of all the, the different bits of it. So um, I'm going to have a blow. You can see all this debris. Blow it onto the lawns. We'll mow the lawns. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like after and um, maybe get you set up on a tripod in between. There's quite a lot out the front as well.
Okay, so we're up in the rose garden area and customers asked me to put in this rose. So they found a little space for it down here. I'll show you it. Just down there. And it's called a an amber with the variant number there from Noak Roses. We'll see. I'll show you it when I put it in anyway. Steve's out the front doing the lawns. See what sort of size we're dealing with. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I like to take the tops off. Just very gently taking the top bit off. And we'll clear a, an area in the shingle.
Okay, so we've planted the rose down there and given it a good watering in. It's got a little bit of space around it, so we'll see how that does. I think that's a, a rose that stays closer to the floor. There's a, a bramble in here I'm going to try and pull out. So. Another one that's bigger. We'll see. Yeah, tidy that up in a sec, but just a pretty standard bramble that you'd find. A bit of a weed, so pull that out. That's the easiest way to get them out, by the way. Brambles, pull them out. A bit more down here, actually. So we'll keep an eye on that area. For the brambles. That was some in the back there. You can see climbing up the fence. I might have a go. Okay, that might have been the mother stem, so it was a pretty big one. I had to pull each of the roots out one at a time. That's good to get rid of. Put that in the green waste bin and um, do some weeding out the front. So the customers asked me to take these um, green plants out. I don't know what they are but they do look a bit like a weed and they uh, certainly look out of place so we'll have them out.
I blow into the road? Great. Um, try and avoid making a mess on the road here. Okay. Because um, everyone's quite keen to keep it really clean. But Back into the bushes, okay? Yeah. 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 And would you give the back blow as well? Okay, finished the weeding there. They were pretty easy to get out. Um, I'll show you around actually. There's quite a lot of interesting stuff here and I'll show you the other fruit, fruit trees and what fruit's on them. Okay, so the customers asked me to put in this sign at the front of the garden. So we buried it down and um, placed it level. So this fruit tree is at the front and it's got a fair bit of fruit still on it, which would tell me we may have been successful in keeping the squirrel out, I'm not sure, but we'll see. This is an, a Mexican orange, it's absolutely beautiful. The smell of it is incredible. If you take a, a leaf and give it a smell, it's nice. And then we've got this tree. It was recently pruned, but you can see it's putting on a bit of growth. Um, that's a magnolia, that's a maple, this is a cherry. I think this is another magnolia, and that is. That was trimmed recently to be uh, a nice shape. Um, I've just switched you into the back uh, because of the, the blower noise. It will be much easier to, nice uh, water feature there. So mainly focusing on the plums. So some there, some in there, quite a few. There's a Wow, there's a lot here on this side. It's dripping. I don't know if you can really see in there. Yeah, it's kind of camera's focusing on the net rather than the fruit. There's a lot of fruit in there. So we're gonna know if the squirrels have got to that. And that's the netting. And it's secured pretty well. There is a way under, but it's pretty well secured. So we're gonna just have to see if the squirrel it's going to see that. There's a nice border here where we've put in some marigolds and some other flowers um, which are doing very well and uh, rosemary and this is a rosemary I gave the customer from my own collection. It was a cutting and it's gone absolutely mad. It's at least gone times four times five in size so that's good. We've got some sunflowers that I planted. Oh my god! planted them as seed. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's one, two big ones and then two smaller ones. Oh, that'll be interesting. I don't think they're normal sort of white sun, you know, with the yellow sunflowers. Uh, this fruit tree in the back, we've got, yeah, quite a lot of fruit in it. There we go. So that's just looking through the net some fruit there. Um, this one above me is a crab apple and they're not so bothered about netting that for obvious reasons. Um, but I think they said that the squirrels still have the crab apples away. Oh and there's a big one, very big apple tree here. Not sure what that is at all but I trim it and we'll show you some video of me trimming it at some point. And then there's this smaller apple tree down here. So these look like the biggest size apples so far, but we've netted that and the, the fruit is still there. So we're optimistic it's gonna keep the squirrels off. And here's a seating area at the top. So this is the garden. It's a lovely garden full of stuff. And um, there's a bit more to the front I'll show you another time, I think. Um, 
but that's it for now let me know what you think and um, gets really interesting here when it's leaf season all right over and out <laughs>